out, out, stop out, out. Hey guys, welcome uh, to Driving App. Hello, welcome to Driving App. <laughs> uh, Ella is driving the app. car. In the app. In the in the app. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um. So yeah, we're, we're just we're just driving. Where, where are we going, Ella? Um, we can't really say specifically because we're just driving. Here we are um, just driving. But we're just on the road right now. We're in the car, uh, surrounded by trees and fields and grass. And also on the road, did I mention that we're on the road driving? Hello. I think this is a driving app. Maybe. Like, I'm just... <sighs> Wait, so how long have you been driving for, for fuck's sake? I passed my test in 2018, um, which was when I was at college. And I... So, and I got my first car then. But, um... Then I went to university, so I sold that car. And I got this... Hello, guy. Well, it, what car is it? It's a Fiat 500, baby. It looks I know, awesome. I know that um, some people don't like these kind of cars, but I think it's pretty cool to see that you've got the car that you've always wanted, you know? Yeah, I I gotta be honest. I was one of those people who was just like, that car kind of looks naff. Yeah, but like, <laughs> once you're in it, I think it's... Well, that's the thing. Cute. Yeah, I, the interior is really, really nice. So it doesn't it's matter so how smooth, fucking like, shit it looks. It's Chinese. Yeah, it looks good. But obviously the, the outside looks terrible, but it doesn't matter because the inside looks <laughs> To be good. fair, like, my boot is messed up, but that's not my fault because when I first brought the car, this was like two months ago or so, um, it, the boot was messed up, but I didn't mind because it's like easier. It's like, it's not too expensive to change because you can get like second-hand ones on eBay or something. You can just change it. You don't have to go to a place. What's it called? Uh, sorry, that's really annoying. Um, what the fuck? That's my keys. <laughs> you don't have to go to um, what's it called? A, what's it called? A garage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to go to a garage, so. I don't know. I. Th okay, so your argument for it not being your fault is that the lady had dementia, so she <laughs> shouldn't have been say out. That. But I, I think the, chickens. I think it is. If, no matter who you run over, whether they have dementia or not, I think they. I think it's. I think I it's the driver's stupid. fault. I think they're just stupid. Well, yeah, she is dumb. <laughs> she is very. If she took an IQ test, she would do very well. Like her brain is broken. No, but she's good. No, she is a good person. Well, she was. You killed her. You murdered was... someone. You can't say that on the podcast. Okay, I'll remember. I'll, I, I've killed someone. If I even out, I've killed. Don't someone. don't reveal our truth, friend. <laughs> I don't. I haven't killed anyone, but um. You're going to. I, pr I probably will <laughs> at some point in my life. No, that's silly. Don't be a silly goose. Well, I, all I'm saying is I don't. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to be doing in the years Do time. Do you think trees look like broccoli? Yeah, I ate broccoli today. I, I, I had um, I had broccoli from Nando's. Oh my god, they they put like the biggest chunks of garlic on it, and I saved it all up until the end, and then I had like <laughs> I had like a whole clove of garlic just at once. <laughs> it's so good. Hey, um, I got a I got a question. Yeah. Um, for you. Uh, Can I look on my mobile phone? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I remembered it. Real life or a video game war? Respond. Video game more, you've asked me every time. I think I'll still keep I've that. asked you this before? No, no, no. Sorry. Okay, so what you say video game more? <laughs> because for one you can do it over and over again. Okay. For two, it's in a vid game and that's more cooler. Because you get to play the video. More cooler game. duty. Hey! Uh, anyway. <laughs> um, Ella, so uh, this uh, where we are driving now, um I don't it just <laughs> maybe maybe keep going <laughs> straight. Okay, well that's all I can go. <laughs> no, there's a there's a turning here. Oh, um, can I go straight on? Yeah, I, I would go straight on if I were you. So then we get lo <laughs> lost. Okay. I think it's a single track ahead, but I think it's okay. Shit. We 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 are driving in a straight line. Um, What's that? <gasps> that's where my bro. Hmm? What? What? Single track road. What's that mean? It means that Should you'll have to pull in sometimes. Oh shit! <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, but you know we deserve it because you've killed someone. I might kill someone. I haven't killed someone. <laughs> yeah, maybe I shouldn't spread that oh, around. Oh my god, it's a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! The door is fine. It's fine. We can see each other, and it we won't c I collide. Need to pull over. Yeah. I'm in a police tail that you're going to pull over. I have to pull over. <laughs> That's a good voice. 
I sound like Mama Trump drugs. Hey, I got um <laughs> probably a uh, drug oh, Marjorie Marjorie do is being a fucking bitch. <laughs> probably. They're like really far away. <laughs> what have I done? Don't you think Marge is like really horrible to Homer? Homie. And Homer's like really nice? Homie. That's a good one. I'm not very good at impressions as you probably can tell. Hey Why Marge. Are they doing this? Hey Marge. Yeah. Hey Margie. Margie Pan. <laughs> Does that sound like Homer? Hey, Margie. 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 Hey, Kieran said you're lying. About what? About, uh, this is an intervention. <laughs> he said... <laughs> no, it's fucking way. He said you're lying. You know, okay, so last episode, okay. I asked Kieran yep. on the podcast, hey, Kieran, Ella told me that you've been cheating and teleporting around <laughs> the Minecraft server and that... Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, Ella's been, Ella, you know, and I said, like, hey, you know, you've been helping Ella cheat as well. So I know that Ella's not lying, because why would she dob herself in? <laughs> and he said that you're lying. He said that you uh, you didn't cheat. You would have both failed your driving test, because you're not allowed to thank each other when you're waiting. Um, so, uh, no, sorry. So <laughs> what's your response? Are you, are you lying? Wait, say what you said again. So Kier- Kieran, uh, so we have a Minecraft, if, okay, I mentioned this last episode, but we have a Minecraft server we play on. And apparently, while I haven't been playing, you said that Kieran has been teleporting you guys around when you die he has. to pick up your stuff. He has. He says he says you're lying. He's he's lying. He's lying. He sucks. Oh shit! Sorry. He Ooh. says. <laughs> did you honk accidentally? No, that was just my <laughs> face. Your face. <laughs> your voice. My face. I guess your face made the noise, maybe. I think it's just my car suspension, like. Ooh. I will be honest. I don't know where we're going, but I think I that's okay. Remember. That's okay. We can just get lost. Well, what we can do is look back the footage and then put it in if reverse. We ran out of fuel. Oh shit! Are we are we don't fuel. No, we're good. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it's really windy. There's a sign coming up with a car falling into a ditch. Oh, oh my god, god. It's really windy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, Kieran says. Kieran asks what evidence have I got of it and the evidence I've it's got me. of it it's me I'm the evidence <laughs> well I've got more than that I mean I have video proof of remember when we pissed him off near the end pool so much that he teleported back yeah yeah you got proof of that so technically he's someone lying so he sucks yeah I, d- I just want to know whether he's done it other times he has all the time when I played with him he's teleported every single how many times would you say he's teleported more around? than five more than five? More than five. What the fuck? Wait, so it's basically not even... Hold up. Are you serious? I'm serious. I'm he's not telepo- lying. He's lying. We've he, we've been on this server for like a little over a month, right? It's not even that long. It's probably more than six. Probably more than six? Yeah. Is that including the time, the end of pool time? Ella, if it's over seven, I don't know if I can be part of this server. Yes, yeah, more than that. More okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving the server. I x-rayed, I'll admit, I, <laughs> I cheated, like, all the fucking time. But, at least <laughs> I was honest. I came you out... You can not blame me. I so said he's lying. What did he blame me for? Oh, no, you just said you're lying, lying. Right? Yeah, he's blaming me. So you're both saying each other are lying. I think you we... should believe me because I'm right. He's wrong. He sucks. <gasps> I'll be honest, I am more inclined to believe you because... Sucks. Okay. I have bad witness to the. Right, well then. You then choose left. left or right. Oh shit, I know where we are. You know where we are? Okay, good. Okay, let's go left. I guess be. You know. Don't, uh. Don't say where we are. Yeah, yeah. But I know, I know. as long as you know where we are. Um. I'll look on my phone for more mobile mobile phone questions. I've, did I even bring it? <laughs> I didn't know this one this way. I think I have my phone somewhere. Oh yeah, it's on my phone. <laughs> I just forgot where I put it. I forgot where I put my phone. <laughs> it's on my lap the whole time. You're so silly. <laughs> okay, so. Pardon, sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, hey, I got, I got a, qu- I got a question. Yeah. Um, so if you, if you, if you're driving around, right? Yeah. And you see another car that looks like you but a bit but it's say the boot isn't uh, all <laughs> fucked up from when you hit the old lady or whatever yeah and the blood and the this is something I was thinking about if it's the same if if it's the same make 
yeah. you know and then maybe even you look at the number plate it's the same year and everything is it wrong to like tail them and then swap out your car for their car kind of and then as long as it's a legal move it should be fine so as long as as long you, as you do it in your driving test as long as you do your driving pass, test you'll pass yeah should really get up there um, close to them well no you wouldn't want them to know you're following them and oh, also no, you'd no. be very obvious you know they'd notice you more because can I put thing down yeah of course this sun is crazy. This yeah. sun is crazy. I was thinking that because I don't see why what the issue would be because they're not gonna. They're just gonna think, oh, it got dinged up, whatever, you know. What, what if that's what happened to you? What if someone else? Even though I know that you. Yeah. I still brought my sunglasses. Fart poops or ass shits. <laughs> <laughs> Fart poops are so funny. <laughs> I can't go with that. You be, you fart poops? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to poo yourself? You want to accidentally poo yourself? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh shit. Oof. So you'd be willing to like shit yourself for funny instead of getting like. <laughs> I guess what I meant by fart poops is. <laughs> you do like a. Like right now you try and fart and you do a poo, right? <laughs> but then an ass shit is like when you're shitting on the toilet and it goes all over your ass. Fart poops. <laughs> I think I'd prefer ass shits. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite thing about <laughs> fart poops? It's a funny word. I think I like it because it's so funny. Like you just, it's like you got a boner on the other end. You got a boner on the other, <laughs> other end? Oh, because of the poo coming out? Holy shit. Have you seen that image of the guy <laughs> who, uh, who said got my first boner? And it's, it is, it's going the wrong way. I think he shit himself. No, he's just deformed. <laughs> He's just default. Oh my god, he has a chicken in the ass. <coughs> We've been sick lately. Yeah, what well, the fuck was that about? Why did you do that? that you got me all, sick as well. That was your fault. You got me sick. I mean, I got you sick originally, but then then I got sick. Oh, I, was, I was still sick afterwards, so you probably got me sick. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Isn't that just silly? Oh, you're so silly. Yeah, I look at another one. Oh shit, yeah, there's your car. It's, it, this car has got to be the most common type of, like... It's probably because we notice them more, because I have one. That is true. When I'm, when I'm learning, and I'm... and Because I'm, I'm a learner driver, I notice the learners a lot more. Yeah, I used to when I was learning. God, no. That's what I was going to say, like... Because hopefully I'll pass soon. Um, pass wind? But the problem... No, 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 no! Do you know where we are now? No. <laughs> No, um, I know where we are because I just looked at a sign, but... Yeah, I'm... we're going to say. Oh, actually, yeah, I know. I do know where we are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm obviously using these, like... Did you ever use, like, a test cancellation app? Um, I don't know. It's been so long. Because basically, um, it's the only way to get a test now. Um, I'm, I'm uh, pretty close to passing. Like, if, if I could get a test today... Like, our, my lesson today, she was like, okay, let's hang around the test centre and That's refresh so this app. Cool. Yeah, like, trying to wait for a cancellation for me to take someone else's spot, if that makes sense. But we have this app that's, like, a third-party app that will scan the website for, like, cancellations and then quickly input my details into the site automatically. And sometimes it notices that it's, like, a bit weird and kicks you off the site, but sometimes it works and you get a test. Um, and I haven't got one yet. But basically, I'm waiting, and she's basically said, yeah, even if it's the same day, if we've got enough time to drive to the test center, she'll, you know, she'll try to get me to the test, if that makes sense. See. Um, so it's a bit weird like that right now, but yeah, the, since I'm so close to passing, I'm, I was thinking about what car to get, and I, I think this is, your car is pretty cool, oh. but I don't think... Uh, I I was ki I was just kidding earlier oh. about like um I mean I did originally not like the look of it too much mm. but I think the reason I really like it now especially the inside is just because I've gotten used to it yeah and so I think I'm wondering whether I should go after something or whether I should just get any old fucking shit and then like it after a couple months of using it I think um cars like this which is so like smaller than like a big car is good for like a first car like this is very easy to drive compared to my mum's car 
She's oh. got like a really high clutch. So I like stored it a lot when I used to use it. Oh yeah, I remember that. Wait, so is it easier to drive a smaller car? Yeah, I think so. You oh. don't have to worry about like your surrounding as, as much, like in the terms of like when you park, you're not worried about how long your car is because it's so small. Okay, but I think when, oh you know, gosh. when you had, um... Duffer? No. <laughs> he, he, well, he was staring thought, me down. Was he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Um, I think he was just like, what the fuck is that in his head? <laughs> <laughs> is this is a fart poop. Yeah. This is a poop ass or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I guess, like, when you hit that old lady, if you had, like, a big truck, <laughs> <laughs> and you would have... You might have even went over her. Oh my god, I saw uh, a tractor that was so big, it was taking up, like, this is today when I was driving, it yeah. took up the entire, uh, almost, like, it came over, like, almost halfway across the side of the road. Oh my god. It's crazy. It is crazy. We're driving. Hey, I got, uh, I got a news article. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry if I don't reply, like, with full answers, I'm just concentrating. No, that's fine, that's fine. Honestly, I'm, uh, I feel like I'm in concentration mode. If, because, like, I've just had a lesson, and so I am, like, looking out for everything, because I've just yeah. driven for two hours. You know what's going on. Yeah, but then, if it's been, like, a few days, then I just, whatever. <laughs> I just don't even pay attention to any fucking thing, ever. God, I didn't know there's a museum here in the place that we currently are. <laughs> in the place we're currently museum in many What is would you prefer? Yeah, there's a dog in that car? Yeah. Oh what God. would I prefer? What would you prefer? Museum? Or a place where the, everything is from the future but it's so far in the future you just don't even have there's no way of even having any comprehension of whatever. It's just like a whole bunch of meaningless crap. It's just like a whole bunch of shit. What would you prefer? Well, as a museum? Or yeah, yeah. Place from the future. And it's all in past tense. It's like, this is blah, blah, blah. And I it's, think that's like some future, Futurama shit, you know? Futurama is... Futurama is the, is the best Matt groaning show. You were so, like, stubborn as a child. You're like, I'm not watching that. <laughs> I know. I did not want to watch... I thought it was... Because it looked like Simpsons, but I was like, well, it's like Simpsons, but there's no Homer, there's no Marge, there's none of these characters I like, so I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> but now I've started watching it, it's like, yeah, I really think it's it's better than The Simpsons. Um, I think it's better than, I was. I really like Disenchantment. Oh, shit, what is that? Oh, my God, that's a police car. Holy shit. Oh, my God. You know filming's illegal in a car? I'm kidding. Really? Oh. No. <laughs> Wouldn't that be silly if I just got you arrested? I was like, oh, by the way, what we're doing is illegal. Are they going to the place where you go? Oh, I, yeah, I guess we are on the same path. Where are these guys going? What the fuck is going on? Sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking shit. I'm not, I'm not road ragey. I just, I just want to know what's going on. For the audio listeners and the video listeners, it's maybe a little bit frustrating because even the video listeners can't see what's going on, but Thank you. we are currently driving through a bit of a busy section and we gotta do a whole bunch of stop and start and shit. Hey, there's another one of your cars. Nice car. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Hey, I got a news article. Yeah. I'm gonna open it. It's kind of important that I think I should bring the news articles back. Bring it back, yo. Do you know Prince Harry has begun his second legal case against Home Office over personal security? Yeah, they're like fishes in a bowl. Who? Uh, the their wife, the royals. Yeah, it's kind I of wished, crazy. Um, this guy's driving like a nutter behind me. The guy behind you? Yeah. Damn. <coughs> we should cause an accident on video. <laughs> no. I mean, actually, let me let me uh, get some clean audio before the accident. Because I don't want to... He turned off his phone. He turned off... Oh, damn it. We could have got money and shit. <laughs> if only... I, I shouldn't have said that on video. We should cause an accident. Because then no, they'd look no, and see that. because... It might happen. Um... No. <laughs> no. I wasn't thinking, like, superstitious there. Oh, I was thinking, right. like... If... if and then the police would be like... Okay, you said you are going to cause this accident. <laughs> A decision to not allow the Duke of Sussex to pay for police protection while in the UK was unlawful. His lawyers have claimed as he 
launched a second legal challenge against the Home Office over his security. I don't understand any of this. <laughs> at, a, at a high court hearing in London, lawyers for Prince Harry's uh, argued. What do you think of the Royals? Um, I think it's a load of shit, to be honest. Like, don't get me wrong, it's really fascinating and probably like British history and all that. But it's like, we're paying so much tax for them just to be like, la di da. Yeah. Like, I know they have, like, duties and shit, but, like... I mean, how much does it really cost to go la di da <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think when they killed off the Queen, I was lost interest. Like, that was the longest-running character. I think they definitely they... killed off Diana. Like, she was the Queen. She should oh, have yeah, been what, the Queen. Oh, yeah, what was that about? There's, like, conspiracies and stuff. Do you know much about so, that? So, basically... This is Princess Diana. How long ago was this? This was, like, 1980s. 1989, I believe. Yeah, she had a car accident, right? She was in Paris. I believe she was, like, a... Uh, like dinner or something she was out basically at night and then she a couple years before she got divorced from the king who is now so king charles um she got divorced from him and then she was living her best life and you know after <laughs> Jesus. Um, basically, um, yeah, she was in Paris and she got in a, you know, her driver was driving her back to the hotel or wherever they were going. And um, basically, they were going so fast through a tunnel that they just, and paparazzi were like stalking them, trying to get this photo, like. Oh, so they're trying to drive away from the paparazzi? Yeah, trying to like speed off and the paparazzi were really like attacking her. Right. And um, she just died then and there, like in, in the crash. Like everyone in the car died. And why, why do you think they killed her off, the royals? Because she's just so cool. She was so cool. Uh, yeah, because the thing was like that she was doing things that the royals shouldn't do. Yeah, she did a lot of like controversial things like royals wouldn't do. She would talk about her mental health, how depressed she was. She did, did you hear about that um, interview she did? It was like, um, it was basically like asking her quite controversial things about her dating, like her husband at the time. And, how she felt with Camilla getting involved so it was like a three way relationship kind of thing and she talked a lot about that and the Queen was always quite like hush hush like we didn't tell anyone anything really we just kind of keep our heads down I see and it's I watched, the Queen gave her oh yeah God. but I watched um, like the only the other day I watched the documentary on Harry and Meghan oh they're getting told to like behave or whatever they've left They've left. Oh, I didn't realise. Why, yeah, why have yeah, they left? they've got their own life now. Because Harry was very much like Diana was. And quite like, what the fuck is and this? And now he's going to die. You know, and you know what? In the documentary, they shown, they were filming. And they shown the paparazzi going to such extents. Like when they used to live in Canada to get away from all the drama for a while. The paparazzi found out where they were staying and um get on because their house was like surrounded by water and they would get on boats and try and like sneak photos of it and then like cut their fences down to sneak to their wow. house in the like in the middle of the night and stuff like that and after harry left like the royals knew he was leaving and stuff they the royals decided to cut their security so they didn't have anyone helping them like guarding the house so they had to find their own way to do it I think that's so shitty. Like, they knew how much danger they was in. Wow, so paparazzi, who basically, they get paid for the shots they get. Yeah. They're basically getting paid to break, to break into people's private property. Yeah, they could that do That is anything. crazy. That's not living, is it? It's like literally being in the fishbowl. I mean, you literally said, yeah, the fishbowl, and it's like, <laughs> they're surrounded <laughs> by water. Like, they are like a, almost like a fish. If, but maybe if, uh, maybe if they're swimming as well. Then they'd be, they'd really be like a fish. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, and then you, and then you think, wait, wait. And then Harry wants to get away from the. Uh, do you mind if we keep going straight for a bit? Yeah, of course. Would that be okay? Yeah. 
Um, it, uh, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, but what if Harry was uh, getting uh, uh, caught by paparazzi, right? And then, and then uh, the, and then he says, "Well, I don't want to get uh, pic- my picture taken. I don't want to see my gills." So he goes underwater, <laughs> right? Oh my god, look! It's a yellow one. It's a yellow fear. Holy shit! Should I get that? That's so good. Yeah. They're really cheap on tax and shit. Sorry. I, I do look at them and I th- now, but it's only because I've gotten used to it. Though it's why I like them. Yeah. So maybe I shouldn't go off for well, a specific it's up car. To you, but they're pretty cool. <laughs> you have a friend who has a Fiat who isn't too keen on it, right? No, I have a friend who has a Mini. But I know you also have a friend who begins. Oh, I knew someone at work who hated. Um... Oh no, you're talking about. Yeah, I get... now I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she wasn't so keen for at first, but now she loves it. Oh, she, oh shit. Damn it. <laughs> I was thinking I could convince her to give me it. <laughs> oh, sorry, I directed us into a How stoplight. How dare you. I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, bone jarvey, bone jarvey. <laughs> bone jarvey. <laughs> Should we get burgers? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get burgers? I, had, I already had one. Oh, yeah, I guess you can't have more than one burger, are <laughs> We should do the thing where we're like feeding each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm I'm down with whatever. If you want to go get burgers, we can go get I burgers. I spend so much money today. <laughs> I mean, how much are they? They're like a quid. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, cool. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Holy shit, we're getting more burgers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fucking stupid. No. The fuck is wrong with you? Seriously. I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm jumpy. Oh my god, okay. Do you see what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? What the fucking shit? Um, Can I just make make the podcast listeners clear that we've been here once today? <laughs> yeah. Well, we went like five times last week. How many times? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, I mean, honestly, I am all McDonald's. I'm sorry, Ron. Ron hates the word McDonald's. Does he? Yeah, yeah. McDonald's, McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, he freaked the. I, he kicked me from the call. I was talking to him and Sam, and I said McDonald's. Do you want to know why he hates McDonald's? Why? Ron hates McDonald's because um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Ron. It is actually a touchy subject. Um, oh, sorry, Ron. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ron. Sorry, Rab. <laughs> Punjabi rap. It's so silly. Punjabi. <laughs> I watched the movie R R R. It's a really good Bollywood movie. It's and at stupid. the end, it, at the end, it's the one. It said something about Punjabi. Oh my god. It's so That's cool. racism right now. Anyway, Ron has said, "Where's this song, uh, Ron? This is okay." So there was, a, yeah, I think we got enough charge. Ron was, um, Ron saw a video. Actually, you know what? He did an essay on this. I could read the essay. Should I read the essay? Yeah, Ron sure. explaining why he, he's so upset about McDonald's. Yeah, sure. Um, it's a pretty long essay, but I guess it'll. You just got to condense it. I'm. I'll try. <laughs> I might skim this run, so sorry if I. Okay, here we go. He did this essay. It was for school. I will never set foot in a McDonald's again. In fact, it pains me to even say their name. To understand my complicated relationship with this, with the M word, you first <laughs> must understand some history. In 2015, YouTube user Mike Yoitenhov <coughs> posted a video titled Human Feces Filled McDonald's Bathroom, Toledo, Ohio. This video consists of a man high out of his mind walking the audience through, well, a feces filled McDonald's bathroom. <laughs> Mike initiates the video with a close-up of a speck of feces. I've seen this video, it's fucking amazing. He pans the camera to another, and another, and another. Shit mark, shit mark, shit mark. That's what he's saying. The camera draws to two piss-clogged urinals. Piss, piss flooded, flooded. Mike then moves his way to the magnum opus of the entire video. Look at that. Oh, sorry, he says it like this. Look at that. 
The frame is filled with a pile of feces used <laughs> toilet paper, which is which encompassing the entire volume of the handicapped toilet. A pristine log <laughs> lays quietly on the shoulders of its giant ancestors. That's an awesome description. The audience the audience trance is broken by the sound of the bathroom door opening. Mike quickly tilts the camera towards the floor, revealing the feet of himself and two others. You do not want to go in there, man. I just had to take a I just had to take a fucking the video abruptly ends, leaving the audience wondering what is yet to come for this McDonald's bathroom <laughs> in Toledo, Ohio. For most people, this is where the journey would end. However, I am not most people. Uh. I have seen this that video hundreds, if not thousands of times. This is true, I bet he really has. Once a week, I would sit down with my closest friends and feast on lots of different kinds of visual snacks with our eyes. Videos of old men making ASMR, an obese black woman who eats egregious amounts of food. That's, uh, that's Squeaky. I showed you Squeaky, right? I can't remember. Hey y'all, I'm eating McDonald's! Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah! Hundreds of episodes of My Little Pony, the entirety of the weirdest media on the internet rolled in in our fingertips, yet we always stumbled back to our most prized discovery. Human feces filled McDonald's bathroom. Can I just bathroom. say something? Yeah. Ron is really good at, like, writing. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's, uh, I think it's his favourite subject. It's really good. Yeah. Man, you do that. You do you, man. I really want, um... Feces? I really want to write something, and I feel, yeah, I think... Maybe I, just, maybe I should just tell Ron to do it. Yeah. I demand that he writes for me. Because he's really good. He should write a book or something. Honestly, he should. I'm not just saying that, Ron. <laughs> I'm definitely in drive mode. I was like... I got chicken. Yeah. Um, it wasn't long until I found myself slouched forward on my computer looking at a map of every McDonald's franchise located in Toledo, Ohio. I don't know what came over me, but I was po possessed by something. Maybe destiny, or so maybe. That car is just going on to the other side of the road. Oh, really? There's a car coming the other way. Like behind us, but oh, he's just like, mm, sorry, carry on. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, maybe it was destiny. Maybe a delusion. Regardless of what this thing was, it was wriggling in my belly demanding that I find this McDonald's in Toledo, Ohio. I began clicking on each one in the area, deeply assessing the floor patterns, wall, colors, and layouts. Their yellow arches always made eye contact with me as I approached along the digital road. This is, he really did this by the way, really trying to find this McDonald's. One McDonald's became 10, 10 to 20, and pretty soon I found myself neck deep in yellow arches looking up at me with their guilty eyes as the hand of time made it revolution made its revolutions all of these McDonald's begun to blur into one another visions of Ronald and Grimace <laughs> folded in into each other right before my eyes as the McDonald's pulled it into my mouth and nose this wasn't going to work I was going to have to start at round, ground level again. Mike Yoitenhove's drool, 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 looped in my ears as I analyzed his every move. I have to be missing something, I thought, to, uh, I thought to myself. I watched as his awkward gait stumbled through that bathroom over and over. Each time the video played, I was expecting something new, as if somehow Mike would pan the camera over to himself and whisper sweet little nothings into my ear. Maybe Mike would whisper his secrets. Maybe Mike would reach out of the screen and hand me the coordinates to that bathroom. Or maybe I was just possessed by delusion, after all. What was the point of finding this McDonald's, anyhow? I exited full screen, ready to throw in the towel, but then I felt it again. The possession of destiny drew my mouse to the description, almost as if it, it was autonomic, autom autonomic, automatic, automatic. Fuck you, Ron. These <laughs> <laughs> fucking big words. The Lord Himself had presented me with my future. 
This is the this is the uh, description. Went to McDee's on Alexis Road in North Town Commons in Toledo. It read, at this moment it seemed that it, time itself had ceased to exist. All that surrounded me was the Google Maps Street View of Alexis Road. I lo oh shit! Last step. Oh, two apps ago was a Alexis app. That's kind of crazy. I looked up at the dilap dilapidated McDonald's that lay before me. Soon I found myself living through the photos people had included in their reviews. My eyes drew towards the floor. I deeply analyzed the tile work. The tiles on the floor had this wonderful variety of brown hues that filled me with the awe. This was the one. The five hour drive to Toledo was not bad at all. He did this one, he drove all the way there. Wow. After I met him, that was where him and Sam went. Luckily, I had my best friend Sam drive me, so I was able to spend most of my time writing a transcript of the video onto a roll of toilet paper. Piss, piss, flooded, flooded. I repeated to myself, <laughs> I was in a trance of hope and ambition. I was going to be one of the few people blessed with the experiencing, with blessed with experiencing this historical moment, monument. Hundreds of viewings and hours upon hours of sleuthing weighed on my shoulders. Yet I was ignorant of the devastation I was about to experience. Let me know. Um, let me know if you want me to stop talking while you're almost at McDonald's. <laughs> the car halted to a stop. Utter shock sucker punched me in the depths of my stomach. A corpse slightly rested before me. Life was absent from her red and yellow eyes. At first, I was in a state of disbelief. Surely this couldn't be the right one, but I was gravely corrected. Above my head hung a sign stating, North Commons just as Mike wrote in his description. They had remodeled the entire franchise from head to toe. Not a single bit or was even reminiscent of the vibrant McDonald's in the video. The possession of, dis the possession of destiny quickly revealed itself to be a fit of a delusion. We shuffled our feet into the mouth of the husk. Despite the lifeless exterior, their entrails were filled with vitality. A stench of grease and heat filled each breath as disenfranchised people from across Toledo area congregated to sip their gallons of soda and chew their recon reconfigured animal bits. Oh, this is what I'm about it. to eat, sorry. sorry. I ignored the bum bubbling rage festing festering within me I can't poke. as we approached the front counter. A woman with hazel skin looked up at us. What do you want? She glanced oh back down at her register. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know shit parking job. <laughs> Where are we parked? Me... Like sideways. <laughs> are we are we within the lines? I'm just gonna reverse and shit. <laughs> okay. What do you want? She glanced back down at her register. Did, Did we just stop? <laughs> I promise I'm a good driver. <laughs> oh, we don't need to order anything. We just need to use the bathroom. The bathroom is for paying customers only. Her eyes remained fixed while mine were and Sam's met each other. Right. Although no words were exchanged, we shared the same question in our pupils. Why is this wench gatekeeping the holy land? This <laughs> wrench. Are the rolling hills of urinals and clogged toilets preserved? And most importantly, what are we going to order? We sat deep in the bowls, bowels of this nightmare. Yeah, I thought I'd read it probably. As my throat pushed a chicken sandwich with a vigor and rage it's never expressed before, a single tear, tear, roll, tear rolled down my cheek as I feared <laughs> what lay behind that bathroom door. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna straighten up. I feel like I should finish this. Sorry, this has been a long I'm one. Sorry, it's just blame Ron. Sorry. But I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Did you want to keep reading, or should, should I read the rest? Um, I can read the rest. Yeah. And we can do a break, and then we can meet the one. So, my from there, my palms. 
My palms were slick and were sweat. I shoved our trash into the brown paper bag before you, me and Rose to, before me and rose to my feet. As I placed the brown grease stained bag into the trash, I noticed my handprints stained its exterior with my sweat. A physical representation of my last touch with McDonald's. I wiped my eyes and hesitantly brought my feet to the great gates of hell. Each step took more strength than the last. Sam followed me behind, fearful of what I might do to myself or others. I turned around to look at him before the point of no return and I noticed two shiny trails of grease which led me up to, which led up to me. My eyes followed the trail up to my very own hands. The sweat was pouring out of them like a pitcher of water. Oh, my throat's so dry. <laughs> I can read it. No, oh, to there. Okay. Oh, do you want some water? Oh, yeah, I've got some. <laughs> so open the door. A pitcher of water. Wiped them on my pants to no effect, and I grasped the handle of the door. One. Two. My eyes closed. I took one last gulp of wet air. Three. My hand pushed down on the handle with all my might, but it slipped right off. My head stumbled into the door, breaking my nose on the impact. What? So I didn't read this far. Last time. I collapsed onto the ground into a puddle of my own sweat, blood, and tears. I can't do this. I pleaded with Sam. It's over. It's over. The anger that was bubbling within me erupted out of my throat in the form of a vile Newt no, Newtonian fluid. Chunks of chicken and mayo mixed with blood on its departure from my nostrils. Oh my god. I tried to let out a yell of anger, but a sob exited me instead. I couldn't see anymore. The necro necros... What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that word? Necrosis? Necrosis? Negrosis? <laughs> um, of this establishment had begun spreading to me, and I had no desire to shake it. No desire until he showed up. My saviour stood five foot from... You good? Oh, sorry. My foot's going numb. Um, my saviour... Oh, it's going numb? Yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry, Karen. No, it's fine. Are those shoes comfortable? Not as comfortable as the white pair. Okay. I was worried for a second, because that... Yeah, you just pulled those. Um, because <laughs> you had, like... I my feet out on the path. I'm sorry. You had, like, really yeah, uncomfortable like, shoes. And now... They're it... gone red. Oh, uh, man. No, Karen, sorry. No, that's fine. I'm just concerned, because obviously you bought them because of how uncomfortable your other shoes are. Yeah. For fuck's sake. Yes. I didn't think there was a saviour involved. Uh, sorry, my hair, my saviour stood five foot three with frayed yellowish grey locks of hair. Schizophrenic, maybe. Crackhead? Definitely. A beautiful piece of ass, undoubtedly. <laughs> Although he lacked teeth, it did not prevent his words of wisdom from exiting his cracked lips. He rose from the... That's, that's, that's good, like his lips were cracked and he's also a crackhead. That's great description. <laughs> He rose from the appendix of the room. Someone needs to use the bathroom. Hey, bitch, someone needs to use the bathroom. His words acted as light which illuminate, illuminated this hellhole. Sit your ass down, Dale. Daryl, the creature at the front counter retorted. Someone needs to use the bathroom over here. I heard you, damn. Uh, five seconds had passed. While silence and darkness filled the room for what felt like an eternity, as Daryl had nothing else to say. I felt warm, really warm. Was it the blood? The vomit? Or was it destiny flushing back into my skin? No, it was piss. It was piss. <laughs> I was pissing myself now. Oh my god. The darkness was broken with an immutable buzz. Similar to one you would hear right before entering a high-end jewelry store. The gates opening, letting out a horrid stench. Sam helped me to my feet as I slipped around in a puddle of the past. 
I was now ready for the future. I was now a man. I knew that the bathroom would not be renovated. I knew that it wouldn't be would be exactly the same as the video. I, oh, I knew that it would be exact same as video. Maybe it wouldn't be the exact same as the video. Dude, Ron, you're terrible. This is shit. I could do so much better. I knew that I wasn't delusional. This was my destiny. But it was renovated after failing... Oh, sorry. But it was renovated. After failing suicide, we walked out of that monstrous place for the last time, never to return. Although I lost a lot that day, I did gain something invaluable. Dale. Uh, Daryl. Daryl. <laughs> Me and Daryl got married years <laughs> later, and we do lots of crack together all day. What? <laughs> Don't think I'm telling you the truth. Hand me a crack rock and watch me gobble it down, no hesitation. <laughs> I don't even think of McDonald's anymore because I do crack all day. <laughs> Holy shit, that's like such a good ending. That is good. I'm glad I got to the end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry I just kind of hijacked the pod with just, uh, right. how long, a 26 minute story? Most of the <laughs> pod was me just reading Ron's thing. That's alright. That was Ron's, um, final English piece. That was really good. School. How did he get for it, do you know? I hope a lot. I mean, that that ending is awesome. <laughs> it just suddenly, all of a sudden, like, the final paragraph goes entirely off the rails. It's good. It's really good. I really enjoyed that. Don't get mad, don't know. Yeah, do you want anything? My bae! <laughs> I got um, should we end the pod there? That's kind of, that's yeah, kind of a long sorry one. Sorry to put my foot in the pod. Ew. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, what do you think? Do you have more? Because I just talked for so fucking long. Do you want to? I'll leave it to you. Do you want to end it there, or do you want to keep going? It's up to you. No, uh, I don't mind because it's your video. Fuck's sake! Shit. What? Sorry. No, no, no. What are you saying? We can pause that and then. Okay. Eat on the way. I'm gonna record that. Okay. Okay. So we'll be back with. We'll be back with shit food. Okay. We'll be back with what the food. Oh my god! The food we just spoke about. We can rate it out of ten. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Ron, that you, now you we, we're about to eat what you hate. We have to make your nightmares a reality. Are we going through the drive-thru? Um, I don't want to. Okay. Okay, so we'll stop here. See in... Fuck off. We're back. Fuck. <laughs> it's your fault. Yeah, it is kind of my fault. We wouldn't be here if I didn't want to do the driving pod. I'm going to drive us back to where we are originally going. But why are you upset? You got a burger. Isn't that great? I really like McDonald's today. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have breakfast? No. <laughs> so you've only eaten McDonald's today. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Yeah. But how are you going to drive, Ella? Because you need mm-hmm. two hands on your wheel at one time. I guess you'll feed me. Okay. Here you go. Okay, cool. Right, well, we're going to get set up driving and then we'll take the first bite. It it's still good. warm, so we just got oh, it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you've got a cheeseburger without the ketchup. You don't like sauces with your burger. Please don't say anything. It's a, it's just a plain burger, okay? I have Afrid, which is an eating disorder. Please Afrid? Af- Afrid or something. Is it an abbreviation for something? It means... Um, Ella, why means. did you stop talking? Are I'm you concentrating? concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> don't concentrate on driving. The oh podcast is more important. Oh my god, we're on like a hump. I know. What? Ooh. Sorry, uh, I, I've been holding this burger. Do you want a bite? Um, no, I'll, I'll let you get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, be kind of silly that I'm going to run about. <laughs> what do you usually go Because you haven't had a. The first time you had a McDonald's burger was only a couple of years ago, right? Mm. So, how am I concentrating? <laughs> That's okay. Um, For fuck's what sake. did you say? Because <laughs> you'd always have. Chicken nuggets from McDonald's, and only recently you had a McDonald's well, burger. Well, I change it. I want to get a select. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I've actually never had it. I've maybe once had a select. Yeah, it's pretty shit. It's just like you know your standard shit. I think I always like chicken nuggets because they got a little bit of grease, just they're a little yeah. bit mushy. They they taste good, but you know what's in them. I think it's 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 real chicken, but it's like a mushed up, <laughs> like because they, they all have like their own molds, don't they? Yeah. They, they, so they get like this almost like a chicken paste oh, and put them in the molds. Yeah, but that's why it tastes so good because they I just know. they make sure just everyone. The shit part of <laughs> yeah. No, I, I don't know. I think it's I think it's good. Hey, why 
when was the first time you had a McDonald's hamburger? The first time? Yeah. Well, it was only a few months ago. It was only, I thought it was like a year ago, only a few months ago? Well, it was probably like last year sometime, but I was with my brother and we were out, we were shopping for something for my university project. So it probably was like a year or so ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, I was like, oh, do you want McDonald's? We'll just get a snack because I think we were having family dinner or something later. I was like, yeah, sure, let's let's get a burger. I've never had a McDonald's burger before. And he was like, sure, okay. And um, so we had the burger. And I'm having what I had, but without cheese. So it was like completely dry. And that was my first ever experience. Did you it was like so it? shit. I um, hated it, but I forced myself to like it. But I got my brother to eat it. I, on that one time, I got him to eat it for me because I just couldn't. It was so horrible. And then when did you try it with cheese? Only recently. Oh, really? Yeah, only a couple of months. Because <laughs> it put you off for that long? Yeah, yeah. Do you want a bite? Yeah. Okay, how is the first bite of your second burger today? <laughs> Speak, speak. <laughs> it's minty. It's minty? <laughs> what? Oh, because you brush your teeth. Oh, yeah. Is it okay brushing your teeth and eating afterwards? I don't like doing that. Yeah. It's not the best because everything tastes minty. Yeah. But, um, I like brushing my own. It doesn't make things taste minty to me, it just makes it taste less. Like, it doesn't taste as strong, kind of thing. Or like eating on a plane. Mm. Did you know that's why, um, uh, oh, do you want another bite? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, let's take that second bite. Mm. I'm impressed with these bites. These are like as big as the bites I would do. Is it because I'm wedging in your face too much? Oh, sorry, sorry. Let me know if <laughs> should I not wedge it in your face so much. No, it's good. Okay. <laughs> um, do you know why airplane food tastes bad? Is this airplane food? Kinda. It's because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's obviously not going to be the best food, but... It's also because um, when you go to higher altitudes, mm -hmm. um, which obviously, well, by the time you got food in a plane, you're real high, especially if you're going to America or something like really far away. What happens if? Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, just interrupt what I'm saying if you need another bite. Just say food. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> just like put your mouth and go ah. <laughs> This does look oh, good. Shit. Oh shit, holy shit. <laughs> I did that today in the car. <laughs> I'm different because it's not burger. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this is dangerous. But hey, it's because it, uh, it's they have to put like loads of extra like salt and sugar in it. Because like your taste buds aren't as good at high up. So it's either going to taste bland because you're high up. Or it's going to taste like too salty because you're not high enough. It's like, it's a hard, it's a hard thing to... Okay. It's alright, I, I touched it with my hand a bit. Mm. This does look good. Have a bite if you want. It almost feels like I'm eating it. <laughs> like, I'm doing, I'm doing a few, most of the things that it takes to eat a burger, like to <laughs> hold it, smell it, watch it, get eaten. But I'm just not the one. It's like I'm in a video game eating. In like a VR game eating. <laughs> you have a VR game. Yeah. Holy shit. We're just driving, we don't even care. I wish I was a bird. Mm. I was thinking that while I was driving earlier. I wish I was a bird. Yeah. But just for a day, I would be kind of... be kind of horrible to be a bird forever. It would be. They don't know for long. Yeah, I'd be like, shit, I'm gonna die. It'd basically be being... It's like a, a, it's like having a terminal illness and I can't even speak to anyone for like the rest of my life. It'd be fucking horrible. But if I was a bird for one day, I would go, I would probably, do you think, can I fly to another country as a bird? I'd try. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to try. I think they might flock to somewhere, don't they? Yeah, they, oh, birds have a lot of friends. <laughs> Actually, it'd be fine being a bird. I mean, <laughs> they like, fly, fly south or somewhere to like, for the winter or something, don't they? Oh yeah. Oh wait, why do they do that? Do they do they go to different countries? Because I feel like that's in America where they there's 
land, for them to keep landing and rest kind of thing. I feel like they're like, um, just go out. <laughs> <laughs> they do just fly sometimes. What would, hey, if you could be any uh, bird, what bird would you be? Would it be a parrot so you can say silly stuff? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they have, like, dementia. <laughs> parrots, oh yeah, they just repeat themselves. Yeah. They're so um, retarded. I don't know, um... <laughs> it sounded like Minecraft songs. It's like mining a piece of sand. <laughs> Sorry, what were you going to say? Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you are how far? Through? You're at least halfway. You're doing good on this burger. Mm. <laughs> this one's good. Mm. Hey. Well, well uh, I got, I got, I probably should speak because this is a podcast. Uh, burger. We did this earlier. I fed you a burger earlier today. Uh, you did. Which one's better, this one or that one? This one because it's warmer. Oh, because it's warmer? I don't know if I care about how warm food is, to be honest. I think it depends. If I'm drinking a cold like soda drink I want it to be cold like ice cold mm. and yeah because you wouldn't drink my like, uh, can earlier no if it's like room temperature or like warm I can't drink that shit that's something I uh I built my can wall you know so I had that can wall behind me for a whole bunch of podcasts mm. and now I've built I've glued them all together do you want another bite? oh no not right now sorry um there's a sink uh, the, I, I glued them all together in, in, for my shed set because I build a set in my shed every once in a while and then I, I glued them all together I thought I'd have enough I was like sure I'd have enough I, sh- I thought I'd have more than enough I stopped collecting them because I was like I've got way too many, too many. but I, I've now realised I'm missing like a fifth of all that I need which a fi- uh, you know being a f- four fifths of the way there sounds like a lot but I've been collecting for like almost three years or longer it's been years yeah so I'm gonna have to do like, you know, a good few months worth of collecting and really try and ramp it up to get, if I want to get it done like soon. <laughs> so uh, yeah, today I just bought like a whole bunch of cans. Was that you? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Quickly before this roundabout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smells good. <laughs> I just wanted to do, get all the experience. <laughs> of, I want to get as close to eating it as possible. It's because I didn't take my omeprazole in time today, so I'll go acidy if I eat this. Well, hey, I'm going to end the pod here, for fuck's sake. Thanks for watching me, burger. Thanks for uh, driving us around while we... And and, uh, and thank you for Ron for uh, sending in that, that essay you, you wrote. Thanks, and Ron. Love you. What? Love Holy you, shit. Ron. This guy's getting real close. Oh, what the fuck? It's the same white car again. What the fuck? Uh, it's probably not the same one. Um, and also, sorry, no qu- question reading today because we, I'm recording this on a Tuesday, the Tuesday before the previous podcast goes up. So, basically, I haven't got any comments yet. So, there's not really anything I can do about it. <laughs> I'll see you guys. See you later.